These are the opening notes to Peto Lake, the first piece that I actually constructed for the suite. Peco, Peto Lake is named after a wild man of the province of Alberta, an Englishman by the name of Wild Bill Peto. He was a fierce man of his own, a kind of a grisly looking dude who uh, didn't always like the settlers who would come in. One story about him is that he went into a tavern one time. Uh, and he had a bundle on his back, and he released it and put it on the ground. It was a live bobcat, which chased everybody out of the bar so he could have the drinking to himself. Uh, Peto Lake is along the Icefields Parkway. It is a gorgeous place. First time I went there, I had an absolute religious experience. Uh, it was transcendently blue from the silt of the glaciers affecting the color of the water. Um, and I said to my wife, I, I, I can't believe this place actually exists. It's shaped like a wolf's head. And it begins uh, from the, uh, the water dropping down with the rainfalls and the snowfalls in the, in the Rockies. And it is a place that is a little bit off the beaten path. But when you see it, you, you just have to stand there and appreciate it. This is the tune that the guys, I think, like to play the most. It's, it's most constructed like a typical jazz tune, um, and yet it draws on uh, the tradition of musicians like Charles Lloyd, who would play chords... that uh, they could stay there for a while and yet their, their combination gives kind of a, a tranquility, a peace. And um, what do you hear what Jeff Stockham does with this? This is Pato Lake. Mm -hmm. 